Hey, welcome back to Business 101, Introduction to Business. This is now video number two in our look at the topic of information technology. And as you can tell from the slide, the title of this lecture, Impacts of Information Technology. Remember, of course, we're talking specifically about the business impacts that information technology has had. So let's take a look at some of the things that IT has done for us in business. I think it helps if we look at some of the primary categories before we get to specific examples of impacts that IT has had on the business world. In general, when we talk about fundamental categories of impacts, we can consider that IT has done at least the five things on this slide for us. It has increased the speed at which we can do business in large and small ways. And speed, of course, reduces cost. It has transformed the way and means by which we can communicate with one another. No longer is communication tied to, say, face-to-face -face meetings or telephone calls. If you remember from a previous decade, even the transformation of the fax machine was a huge change in the way that we were able to transfer necessary documents back and forth. Not to mention now innovations like cloud computing, Dropbox, online meetings, etc. One of the fundamental impacts of IT, number three, it has shortened distance, or at least it has shortened the perception of distance so that now things that would have been unimaginable in another decade are very, very possible and a normal part of business, having widely dispersed work teams collaborating together, despite the fact that members live, work, and exist on different continents in the world, things that would have been completely unable to pull off in a previous time apart from the advent of necessary technology. It has enabled us to trade across international borders, across continental borders, in ways that would have been impossible apart from vast expenses on shipping. It has increased collaboration, the ability for us to collaborate as work groups and teams, vendors and partners, businesses and consumers in ways that were previously completely unwieldy and impossible to pull off. And all of those things have increased the options and the flexibility we have in business. And so each of the examples that we're going to give in the next couple of slides of ways, fundamental ways that IT has impacted business life fall many times under the, the rubric, the categories, the umbrella of these five fundamental ways that IT improves business. For example, IT has created the ability to work remotely and therefore creating portable or movable offices, giving us greater mobility to do business, not only in our office, in our office buildings, but from our home office, from a coffee shop, from a library, from a sailboat, from all sorts of ways that were completely unable to be thought of as business places in a previous life. IT has enabled better service to consumers and customers. Customers now have multiple ways to get instant contact with a vendor, whether it be email, through the web, as well as coordinating remote deliveries for us to be able to provide service like tracking information on a minute by minute basis when my delivery is gonna show up and where it's gonna show up. IT has created a leaner, more efficient organizations, allowing more work and customer satisfaction to be accomplished with fewer people. Realize that, for instance, even in factory farming in some places in the United States, what used to require a farming staff of hundreds of people is now accomplished faster and more efficiently with less error by one person and a whole bunch of technology powering location, efficiency, monitoring, all of those kinds of things. IT has enabled increased collaboration through IT communication devices, <clears throat> through asynchronous communication. Asynchronous referring, of course, to contact that is made at a particular point of time 
that the recipient can then choose to access when they have the time. And that runs everything from recorded video lectures like this to the ubiquitous example of email that I type up at two o'clock in the morning and you read at eight o'clock in the morning when you get into the office, all those kinds of things. Other examples. IT has enabled global exchange, the ability to have trade partners and vendor partners and consumers and customers in other countries, completely dependent upon IT and yet still delivering an enormous value in terms of level of service. IT has improved our management processes. An example there, using ERP software to change the nature of the management process having better control, having greater insight and analysis, all brought to us because of the vast power of information technology and increasingly so, the increasing power of artificial intelligence. IT has also provided flexibility for customization, creating new manufacturing capabilities that offer customers greater variety and greater choice alongside faster delivery cycles. Other examples, information technology provides brand new business opportunities that never existed before. For instance, we have always had drivers with cars who don't have anywhere to go and therefore the capacity of the car <clears throat> is left unused while the car sits in the driveway. However, now with the advent of information technology, we can have service on demand solutions like Uber and Lyft so that drivers who are willing to use their cars can be matched up with passengers who need transportation on an immediate minute by minute basis. A solution that would be completely impossible to pull off apart from the internet and interconnected technology. In fact, you can say that information technology has improved the world and our lives in all sorts of various ways. Everything from, as you see here, the example, medical and diagnostic techniques, remote medical surgery, all of the different uses of the internet, including the World Wide Web, all of these kinds of things brought to us business impacts that have changed our life for the better and opened up new opportunities and possibilities because of IT. An example from the textbook here is this diagram attempting to show what mass customization can look like in diagram fashion. Perhaps an easier explanation is by showing you the way that mass customization can work in everyday consumer commerce. And right here you see an example. This is, of course, the Apple website. And if I was in the market to purchase a new computer, let's give you an example of what mass customization looks like. By simply clicking on the Mac tab, it brings me to all the various computing devices that are currently offered here by Apple. And if I'm going to select a updated version of the very laptop I use, which is a MacBook Pro the, with the little screen, the 13 inch screen, you can see here, that apart from all of the advertisement, if I decide I'm going to customize this machine to my desires, then I can select either the 16 inch or the 13 inch. I'm going to select the 13 inch. I get to select of these prepackaged models with these selections. Well, let's select this one here. And from here, I could say, well, wait a minute, I'm not sure that I want this color. So is there a way for me to change the color? Yeah, I can go back. And select the lighter color. And you realize that's entirely customizing the appearance, the aesthetic appearance of the entire shelf. From here, I'm going to select the faster central processing unit, add additional read uh, own random access memory, increase the storage space, 
include this piece of software and of course you can see holy smokes the price has increased to almost thirty three hundred dollars for this little beast but this is an example then of limited but powerful mass customization it's still a mass produced product but his apple like many vendors have introduced the option to customize to a great degree what it is that i will be <clears throat> to customize the unit to my preferences why is this important this is an example of being able to deliver at the end of the day a higher level of value and therefore a higher level of customer service to me because i'm able to obtain the unit that best suits my needs and i'm not getting a unit on the one hand that is not powerful enough for what i'm looking to do and on the other hand i'm not paying for capabilities that i don't need and would never use this is the idea behind mass customization and quite frankly an option that is brought to consumers that many times we take for granted but is only possible because of a whole set of improvements brought around by information technology, including varieties and speed and efficiency in a supply chain, a user interface that connects directly with inventory and manufacturing, and a pricing engine that talks directly to accounting seamlessly without any drops or errors. These are all functions and capabilities brought about by IT. In fact, these are impacts upon us brought to us by the business impacts of IT or information technology. Hope that helps. We'll see you in the next lecture.